Tina Turner's May 2023 passing was absolutely tragic. Many of her fans didn't even know she was suffering from a long illness. But the queen of rock and roll music was certainly full of surprises, including when she sold her entire catalog for $50 million. But her shocking death at the age of 83 was sudden and gut-wrenching to her friend and family. Even Elton John, with whom she famously feuded, shed a few tears. Without a doubt, the full love singer had many allies. One such ally was none other than Roseanne Barr. While in recent years the acclaimed comedian has become a distinctly polarizing figure, she once commanded tremendous influence in Hollywood. This included both her stomach and her talk show, where she relentlessly confronted Turner's former husband for the cruel and horrific things he did to her. Here is what happened. Ike Turner has been accused of some pretty heinous things over the years, many of which cannot be discussed here. But the accusations are substantial and well documented. This includes his tumultuous relationship with the late Tina Turner. According to CNN, Ike and Tina Turner first formed a musical duo in 1960, a few years after they met in 1957. They continued this collaboration until 1976, and of course, during that time they have a very public relationship. At first, the relationship was platonic, but things became romantic. But when Tina Turner wanted to end things, Ike became violent. This horrible relationship dynamic continued for the vast majority of the relationship, and she famously couldn't leave him. To complicate matters, the two gave birth of their first son Ronnie in 1960. Two years after that, they married and things continued to be awful between them. All of the events within their marriage led Tina to particularly dark moments in 1968 where she purposefully ingested the numerous substances. She documented the event in her autobiography and it certainly reflects how desperate she felt it during her relationship with Ike. Tina Turner was open about her horrific relationship with the acclaimed musician several times, including in an interview with People in 1981. A 60 Minutes to Profile in 1997 and in her acclaimed 2021 HBO documentary. Tina, when of course was the film What's Them, of course was the film What's Love Get to Do With That, which dramatized their famous and messy relationship. During her interview with People in 1981, Tina revealed that she feared for her life which is why she continued to see Ike, but eventually she overcome that fear. I felt I lived because I was already dead. When I walked out, I didn't look back, she courageously revealed. According to people, Tina Turner left Ike Turner in 1976 after a fight. When she fled, she had absolutely no money with her, but she kept running. She filed for divorce almost immediately after demanding child support and custody for their two sons. The scars of her relationship with Ike persisted for many years, including battling poverty as a result of the divorce and the fact that Ike got all of her publishing rights. Ike Turner, who passed away in 2007, also at a relatively young age, has addressed the numerous accusations leveled at him. This includes his horrific marriage with Tina, with Tina Turner. During an interview with the Washington Post in 1997, he commented on what's love get to do with it, as well as her public comments. Ike Turner, known as the meanest man alive, the ugly women Peter or whatever. People always get to say some expletive like that. I said to the Washington Post, see they put that movie out right during the time of that women's movement and Tina fit right into that. That women's lip thing, she was a good vehicle for them to get behind. It really hurt me a lot, but I'm getting over it, man. He later added, you cannot undo what's been done, and I have no regrets, I did nothing that I'm ashamed of, I did nothing that I won't do again. Like many artists, fans overlooked his well-documented treatment of women, but not Roseanne Barr. 
Rosane Parr tried to get Ike Turner to apologize to Tina Turner. Rosane Parr didn't sugarcoat her Ike Turner introduction when she had him in her short-lived talk show in 1999. Right to the bat, she mentioned his battle with substances, as well as his exploits of stage. However, as soon as Turner sat down, Barr addressed him as the inventor of rock and roll. But you have all this nasty stuff that you're more famous for than that, Rosanne Barr said. Throughout the first half of the interview, Barr made Turner feel comfortable by asking him about some of the terrors of his youth such as the racism his family faced, she also probed him about his famous substance use. But then she took things up a notch, addressing the accusation of domestic abuse during his relationship with Tina Turner. After Ike claimed the portrayal of him in the film What's Love Get to Do With That was inaccurate, Barr said you were violent to your wife. No, I wasn't. No, no, I'm very demanding. Turner responded, You're physically, you are denying that you were physically violent to Tina Turner. Barr asked, No, I have slapped her. She has slapped me. She has kicked me. Ike Turner said before trying to claim the rest of the relationship was positive. I'm going to do you a big favor. I want you to look in this camera and admit it and accept it because as soon as you do to the clubbing audience, let me finish, be quiet. I want you to admit that you did wrong and you are sorry for it, Roseanne said forcefully. And as soon as you do, I think all the props that are due to you for what you invented and what you brought are yours to take. But I want you to do that and let it go. Do it. I'm very sorry, I did a lot of things wrong in my life, but the way that they portrayed me in that movie is not me. Okay, the movie is not cool, but you did you hit your wife. Sure, I hit my wife, yes, but I love Tina to death and still love her. She says that you beat her, Bar said, not letting up. She said you beat her, so she had to run across the freeway with no shoes and big the guy at a holiday inn to give her a room. While Ike Turner admitted to the fight that sent Tina across the freeway, he stated that he was proud of the way he treated his wife and kids. But as I said, I'm very demanding. Yes, you are, and you made the big mistakes, didn't you? Barb probed again. I made a lot of mistakes, but I cannot undo the past. Ike and Tina Turner's relationship was tumultuous and marked by domestic violence and control issues. Tina endured years of abuse before finally finding the strength to leave the marriage in 1976. Their divorce was finalized in 1978, marking the end of their personal and professional partnership. 